She's like my most esteemed guest in italics. It's like, are you angry with me? You've got <laughs> eyebrows that are angry. You, you. I have the feeling like this is your uh way of saying not so esteemed. <laughs> <laughs> So are we all on the resume the story with the picture? Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, I clicked the picture, so I'm at the oh. daffodil line. Well, I mean, you have to do an intro, don't you? Oh, right. <laughs> Those things. They're, they're, yeah. Sometimes we, we, we do them for a reason. Maybe. Sometimes. 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 So hoy hoy, this is Eva Guacamole Gaming. I'm the Devil's Avocado, and I am joined by Pix and Pixel Coco. <laughs> <laughs> I just charged right in there. <laughs> uh, did you go ham? Yes, I I went ham. I charged in there, <laughs> swinging. Mm, ham right, right. Don't go just charging in there. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we play with Marco. <laughs> yep. Uh, Hi, Marco. That event will be long over by the time this comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so anyway. back to a game, game that, while it doesn't have anything to do with guns, it still has lots to do with lesbians. Yeah. And nuns. And nuns. <laughs> next, next Overwatch character is a lesbian nun. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> but let's go. As always. Actually, said lesbian nun is named Doomfist. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm all about Doomfist being a support hero. <laughs> anyway. Daffodil rolled her eyes. As always, Madeline, you are far oh. too nice for your own good. Actually, now that I remember, I'm pretty sure that Brad is reading this. Mr. Avocado. Uh, well, yes, but that's okay. Narration. I think I already read the, the action line anyway. Yeah, so we're good. So we're good. But, but we must be nice. There aren't enough nice people in this world. You agree with me, don't you? Uh, who? Me? Who else would I be talking to? Um, yes, you! Uh, I mean, your god? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Okay, you know what? Just pass it on. <laughs> this was quite the quandary. The Traveler had not wanted to get dragged into an argument, but now they had no choice. Unless they feigned death. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an option on the screen. <laughs> Brad can make it one. <laughs> Close the window. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll be right here. I don't know why I'm pointing <laughs> with the mouse though, because the mouse pointer doesn't show up on the video. But it'll be right there. You know, there should be more nice people in the world. You should be more careful, Madeline. Feign own death. <laughs> <laughs> not working. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> click, 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 click. It's not working. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> let's. Oh. Uh, let's see. You know, this guy's a capitalist, which means that he doesn't believe in nice people. Uh, that that's <laughs> they. I should correct because so, we still don't know gender. I'm just giving true. masculine voice. Right. Um, so, one vote for you should be more careful, Madeline. Madeline. I don't know. Mm. I, I don't Madeline, know. I believe is. We'll have to ask Johnny, since it's probably based on the French. <laughs> probably. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's just let's just go with that option. It'll probably lead down a yeah. bad path, which is always good. <laughs> yeah. See. 
<laughs> Bad pets are usually more interesting. Even this person, who is completely suspicious, let me add, agrees with me. <laughs> they have known you for five minutes, and they have already and they already see right through you. Uh, oh, oh dear. Um, I mean, it's not hard to. I mean, she's so white; she's practically see through anyway. So, I mean. <laughs> Yes, because this person is less white. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Daffodil, I mean. Why do, why do you gotta bring race into this? I know, right? Wait, that What's is what I you? did. <laughs> um, I'm sorry? Don't coddle her. I mean, that's pretty much accurate for the next line. <laughs> Don't apologize. She needs to hear it. It's good for her. Like cod liver oil? Gross. Exactly. Tastes disgusting, but it will help in the long run. Run in, is the, the key word here. Um, ha! Da -da 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 -da. That is a poop joke. <laughs> you you're awfully <laughs> practical. You remind me of a governess. I'm sure Bernice would be happy to hear you say that. Who? A small smile alighted upon Daffodil's face for a few moments. It's a really weird looking smile. I know, right? Yeah. But the moment, like the smile, was small, and it was extinguished all too soon. I mean, unless you just want to let people smile as much or as little as they wish. But In I... which case, it was extinguished right when it should. <laughs> Indeed, whatever that strange voice that's following us said. But this still doesn't mean I trust you. I mean, just look at you. I am the narrator! <laughs> ah! The narrator suddenly appeared! <laughs> um, naturally, I, you know, uh, one thing of note, I have completely forgotten what voice I use for the Traveler, so I've been all over the place so far. This <laughs> I mean, I'd say you're changing like voices. Oh, more... really, nilly, think... what are you trying to hide? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say just go for, like, a more, you know, gender-neutral voice, but do you have that? <laughs> Is that on your dial? Because I know you have the motion I... voice. Uh, no, I don't. don't know. I'll try something in the next line. Just yeah. because we agree on one or two things, it doesn't mean we're friends. <clears throat> uh, we haven't known one another long enough to be acquaintances, let alone friends. That's right. You're exactly right. Because you agree with me. Daffodil's expression hardened. Why? And I'm going to keep my eye on you. Oh, that's very flattering, ma'am. If you try anything with Madeline, I'll cut your hands off. Oh, shit. Mm. You're in a what? witch's house, you hear? What? Oh, what, what happened? What, where'd that thing come from that's on your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Which, in fairness, I only comment on because that's the first thing like that in the entire art style. So it's a little disconcerting. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I skipped ahead to the next line, oh, so... That's scary stuff! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Madeline just lit up like a freaking candelabra. It's Hanukkah up in here. <laughs> it's I'm a sorry. miracle. I had to. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do a mochi voice for that, but now I've got something <laughs> to animate. Oh, no! Now I've got to animate... <laughs> no, you know what? Because the only way I could do that, and I'd have to put a yamaka on mochi. Then at that point, I'm like, mm, no, I'm sure I'm no. offending everyone. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> she can be quite terrifying when she wants. She says as she sparkles. We know she has my same taste in women. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I mean there's that thing about sapphic, <laughs> sapphic interests and and in, in, um, violent. Uh, aggressive women. Look, Advo, just because I want Winry Rockbell to club me over the head with her wrench doesn't mean I contribute to this theory of yours. <laughs> that was... that was more brutal than the... <laughs> <laughs> like... A clubbing is pretty... like, you don't get to experience much of that. <laughs> Anyway, I mean, if should I begin <laughs> the preparations for a simple meal? <laughs> uh oh, I think we missed a line. Why line. did Madeline oh. sound so happy about that? But yes, we uh, read that line. Da 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 da. Oh yes, that would be lovely. Thank you very much. It. it. <clears throat> It's nothing, really. You're far better at cooking than I am. Oh, don't be so down on yourself. You do great job cooking. If you say so. That's only to be expected given your upbringing. I wasn't very good at cooking when I first started either. Hmm. I guess that makes me feel a little bit better. If you would prefer, I could prepare the food while you attend to our guest. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, thank you. I would rather cut myself with a knife in 15 different places than rub salt into my wounds. Then rub salt into my wounds. I'm, I'm currently not convinced that that means that you wouldn't want to. I mean, you seem kind of a crazy person, and I've met some nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it all back around. <laughs> oh, Let's see if we can mention that really once that ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's Sorry. see if we can mention that, like, once every single episode. <laughs> 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 I think we've done so, so far. We do good work. Is my company really that repellent? It is repugnant. Oh, don't be so harsh. And you don't deserve to eat Madeline's cooking. You haven't earned the right. Is this where the whole salt and wounds things come in? Because that sounds pretty, like, hardcore. I'm not that hardcore. I just sell stuff. And clearly you aren't. Eh, somebody's rather protective. It seems kind of... Savic. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> Just that quiet. Savic. Ding! <laughs> yep. I think we're up to three for this episode alone. Jesus. <laughs> it, we just had two. So. Savic, there we go. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> But what if that made four sapphics? <laughs> because Brad said sapphic earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with that, Editor Brad. You can see in the background, Editor Brad is flipping you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mind daffodils too much. She says harsh things, but she has a big heart. She just doesn't want me to get hurt. It, it, it's it's not like that. You, you're reading too much into it. Baka. <laughs> Baka this. <laughs> She's there is. Fuck. You're you're reading too much into it. It's really that I just have sapphic feelings for you. Ding. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Daffodil folded her arms, and turned her nose up in the air. It was kind of cute and very sunduri. There will not be a sunduri counter. I, I am not sunduri. 
I don't know how you managed without me for so long, Madeline. You're hopeless. <laughs> that may be the case, but when I'm with you, I feel rather less hopeless. You give me strength. My gay heart. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> don't just come out with sappy lines like that. Th this is literally Babaka. <laughs> yep. But it's true! Whatever. <laughs> so saying, the younger nun departed to prepare the food. A serene, gentle stillness settled upon the pair that remained. Broken only by the sounds of the falling rain. Just as Madeline had predicted, the rain still had not let up. It probably wouldn't stop until long into the night. By that point, it would be too late to depart to Castella. The Traveler sighed. <laughs> Their plans had been well and truly scuppered. Sc scuppered. Writer? Writer, is this a real word? I'm not entirely it's sure that it is. Is it? You're claiming it's a real word. Okay. Scuppered. The meal Daffodil prepared was a rather simple affair. It was a thick vegetable soup served in an earthenware bowl with a piece of brown bread on the side. I like to pronounce it thick. I'm I'm being informed that Editor Brad is refusing to to allow that in the recording. Time to kill Editor Brad. So that everything descends into chaos. Oh god. <laughs> the narrator is well aware of how much Editor Brad would... Suddenly a vacuum cleaner noise. <laughs> <laughs> the vegetables had been cut awkwardly with an inexperienced hand and viewed by an extremely judgmental asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and parts of the soup were burnt. That's a little bit more objective. The bread, meanwhile, was inexpertly made and sunken in the middle like a crater. What a judgy asshole! <laughs> the outer shell was hard enough to break teeth, while the middle was chewy and curiously textureless. Judgy McJudgeman's over here. What are you, Gordon I'm Ramsay? I'm sorry. You don't... <laughs> 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 the middle of this bread is so chewy, it's eating the rest of the bread. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I... You know, I'm pretty impressed, because I did not have that ready when I started... <laughs> Saying it, I was like, "Yeah, I was thinking, how are you gonna, how are you gonna finish this advo? How are you? Oh, oh, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> you know what? That's a high note to end this episode on. I feel I made a good yes. get Gordon Ramsay joke. You know, I feel good about myself. You somehow managed to pull that straight out of your butt without messing it up. So I'm I, I'm taking a page good. right out of Baylor's ass. <laughs> But don't don't go putting your hands in there, please. <laughs> a cave not I'm, adventured. I mean, I, I I'm, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. I don't think you want to continue this, but, Brad. You know. <laughs> go on. <laughs> don't. <laughs> you know the bad thing is I'm legitimately like, but it was consenting. But then I'm like, I've never actually asked if I could use anything. <laughs> from the quote unquote Baylor's ass. Uh, nor do I know if it's publicly available, so. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
So you know what? With that. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I'll leave that page right where it is. <laughs> Well, and with that, I, I tried to end on a high note. <laughs> <laughs> and it just well, like just sunk talking. right to rock bottom before you did. <laughs> <laughs> this is Evil Guacamole Gaming. I am the Devil's Avocado, and I've been joined by... Play Play! And Pixococo. Next time, I'll put it on my own ass. <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Um, he is well. <laughs> <laughs>